Hi everybody and a warm welcome back to Maple Leaf Customs in Switzerland. I'm Andrew and on the bench today is a 1 to 64 scale Tarmac Works 2019 Audi R8 LMS Evo. Brand new in this box and I've never handled a premium that's still wrapped in plastic and packaged like this. I got it on eBay and I've certainly never had one on the bench and attempted to customize one. Kind of nervous handling this one, it's so nice. But this is a special occasion as well. This is going to be my entry to this year's Canada Day Diecast Invitational. I've invited all of my online friends to join in by customizing any casting in the Canadian flag colors of red and white. It's that wide open. Oh, this one is just beautiful. I'm going to have to redo it from top to bottom. I will hang on to those Pirelli P0 tires though, so nice. Look at the finish on this. <laughs> now, I know I can't achieve a premium look, but stick with me and I'm going to do my very best. It's gorgeous. So many details. Lensed headlights, lensed taillights, and it is not a roller. I read that about Tarmac Works. They're more concerned about size and scale than they are about making a rolling model. All right, disassembly begins accidentally. Just by regular handling, I broke off one of these micro side mirrors, but luckily it didn't roll across the floor into oblivion. So I saved it, as I will all of these tiny pieces, in a little plastic dish for safekeeping. No drilling a post is required on the Tarmac Works. There's two pre-fitted screws that I just need to remove. Also, carefully catalog, put them in the inventory. The glass is held in by a plastic rivet. I'll need to take that out manually. Okay, the headlights and taillights are not going to come out. I did give it a try, so I've got another plan of attack. Hanging on to these nice P-Zeros, as I said. The roll cage is fitted. It does not come out, but I will detail it. And the two side doors fold down and they pop off. There it is. Stay tuned to my channel, please, for some upcoming specials, including the kickoff of my Summer Road Trip series, and another Matchbox coming. Look at all the good stuff that's lined up for you. I'm going to be away on some summer holidays soon, but my channel will not go dark. There will always be a Saturday upload. So come on back regularly. This is the first time I've taken this approach at this stage in a customization. I simply taped over the nice lensed lights front and back. I scuffed up the body with a scotch bright pad, applied the primer, let that set up, and this is my high gloss white base coat. I'm going to rebuild everything from the ground up on top of this. It wasn't a precision masking job, it was just a little bit of protection from some paint spray. So it required a little bit of touch-up with some black paint. That's easy to do. There's a hood scoop up front here, common to the LMS race car. And the side runners get some black as well. Here's my inspiration picture, and befitting for Canada Day, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> More on this car in a bit. Today's community shout-out goes to all of the participants in the Canada Day Diecast 23 Invitational. As of the time of editing my video, these are the builders that indicated they'd like to take part. Several have already sent in their glamour pics, 
If I've missed anybody, then I give you my apology right now. I didn't know. So be sure when you upload your pics to social media, use hashtag Canada Day Diecast 23, and we'll all be able to find each other's creations. That's important, so thanks for doing that. The permanently affixed roll cage gets some red paint highlights. Some more careful masking is followed by airbrushing on the predominant flag color of red on top of the gloss white. I let about 20 minutes go by before I cross my fingers, hold my breath, and unmask the whole car. Always nerve-wracking, but always satisfying if it works out well as it did today. Mm-hmm. The base model is looking really good now, but there's a long way to go with much more attention to detail. The 2019 24 Hours of Daytona was an International Motorsports Association, IMSA, sanctioned insurance sports car race held at the Daytona International Speedway Combined Road Course in Daytona Beach, Florida on January 26 to 27, 2019. It was the 57th running of the race and the first of 12 races in the 2019 IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship and the first of four rounds of the 2019 Michelin Endurance Cup. There were 47 teams across four classes. My Canadian branded Audi finished 19th. <laughs> so it's not a perfect story, but it was the coolest looking car of the day. Don't you agree? I'm doing my best to make an accurate replication of the real race car. You tell me what you think when you leave a respectful comment below. If you remember the race, or if you're into IMSA motorsports, or if you're an Audi fan, or you just like Canadians, I'd love to hear from you. Be sure to tell me where you're watching from, because I hope this is a truly international, invitational, and viewing audience, too. Time to put the little Audi back together now, and it's pretty straightforward. The window glass is pressure fitted back in, no need to glue that. The body goes on top of the chassis, on top of the Pirelli P0s. The original screws go back in. I did like that feature. And it's still not a roller. <laughs> so I didn't solve that issue. And that really is kind of important to me, but that's uh, just not the way Tarmac Works makes their castings. Remembering how easily these delicate side mirrors came off accidentally, I saved the most fragile pieces for the very end. They need half a drop of glue each. They are recessed in there. I hope it's a good hold. And the same goes for the refurbished spoiler too. Centered, leveled, and voila. Let's have a closer look. I didn't do any body modifications here. It's all cosmetic. Kept the original wheels, side mirrors, spoiler. The paint job and the intricate decal work were the main features of this customization. I did use a little artistic license only in a couple of places, but I did my very best to make an authentic representation of the real racing car. With the clear coat on there, I think I got pretty close to a premium finish. Well, <laughs> not looking at the original. I just forgot for a moment how nice that really was. And forgive me purists for taking apart such a nice car. This is the finished product and I'm proud of how it turned out. I really love the big maple leaves on both the doors. I'm glad Audi Sport did it that way. 
I didn't raise it or lower it, no need to. It's already got a great raising stance and shows off well under the LED lights. And look what arrived on the second to last day of my bench work on this one. I got this Para 64 Audi R8 LMS, which I had ordered from China. I wanted to use that as my benchmark or reference point to check all the details on. And now you can compare them side by side and tell me how close you think I got. I think it's not too far off. Well, it's been a great Canada Day weekend and a fine die-cast, invitational-type celebration. Thanks for watching. Thanks to all those who participated. Now, you make sure you look them up using the hashtag. And I wish a happy Canada Day to all of our neighbors and friends. You can still edit the name or description of your upload to include this hashtag. Thanks for visiting today. Come on back soon and often. It's coffee time.